The Pope is coming to town and Washington is going to come to a halt. The streets will close and crowds will greet him everywhere he goes. He's going to interrupt the daily flow of things, at least logistically. Politics is not likely to be interrupted, though. The Pope will address a joint session of Congress on Thursday. One member is boycotting because he disagrees with the Pope's position on climate change. Those wishing to defund Planned Parenthood will take comfort from the Pope's message on families, which has no room for abortion. But his emphasis on the excesses of capitalism will ruffle a lot of those same people. Same-sex marriage supporters have already been protesting the church's position in advance of his visit. The pomp and ceremony will be enormous in Washington and then later in Philadelphia and New York. The Pope will travel in his special car and receive the beaming faces of the most powerful people in America. Donald Trump might very well be jealous. But as the leader of a fractured institution that is mending, his lesson for the leaders of broken political institutions doesn't come from the ceremony. It comes from the smaller visits he makes to prisons where he washes the feet of inmates and into the crowds at mass where he kissed the disfigured face of a man and prayed with him. It's a message of humility and service to the poor, a hope that after the streets reopen and everyone is seen in pass, we'll all pay attention to the people we pass on the street every day and never see. Back in a moment.